Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Cancer at this time? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of Cancer? Please and thank you. Okay, so current situations, pay attention to your health. Why is this the current situation? Reconciliation, the most difficult part of a situation is over. Okay, let's see. The challenge is getting together with friends. So you could want some people to come together here, but they're not looking in the same direction. So these could be people who have like, they're both stubborn and they're both set in their ways, set in their views, their own viewpoints here. They're, not willing to compromise regarding a particular situation. I'm getting some of you guys like you could, because I'm getting friends are just people that you're really close to. But either way, it seems like a situation that's like causing you a lot of stress, trying to figure out how to bring a situation together. But with the rainbow popping up here, part of the advice that I'm getting is to like make it fun, make a situation fun. Because rainbow is all about like child energy, childlike energy. So in the past, someone received some sort of karma here you will be playing a different role. So someone's karma was that they were able to take on a different role with hats, whether this was you or someone else. Well, great worry over nothing. So someone is gonna realize that all that they were worried about was for nothing heartache over what you no longer have. I'm going to put this as a side note. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. This is the root of a situation. What's that?
So someone is going to let go of a relationship with a man here or someone could, and it doesn't have to be, yeah, two-faced friend because they're letting this go for happiness and well-being. With marriage here, there was some form of commitment. So some man in someone's life was a two-faced friend and there was some strong commitment between them. So people are seeing you as being victorious in a situation and you're realizing new opportunities opening up for you. So whatever relationship someone is letting go of here is allowing happiness to come in. Keep your life in balance. Somebody could be dealing with the Libra with the scales coming up and then exciting events. Okay, so they don't want you to act stupid in order to overcome some sort of obstacle because I'm getting that someone wants to balance out a situation. I'm getting that it's you, Cancer, and you're going to have the opportunity to do it soon. So they're telling you not to act silly. Some of you guys could have felt like you lost someone in the recent past. And I'm really getting some of y'all like looked at a situation like it was your karma and it caused you to have to take on a different role here in your life. There could be several things that you're letting go of. One thing could be some form of commitment, whether it's an actual marriage or it's some some form of commitment here, a job. Um, some of you guys like a two-faced friend that could be some man here that's like all up in your business trying to give you bad advice, scheming behind your back. I'm really getting a situation where someone wants to reconcile with someone else here. And they feel like since this person, because with someone um, heartache over what you no longer have, I'm really getting, and then the cane, pay attention to your health card. Someone feels like they haven't, like their health hasn't been the best, like whether it's just mentally, physically, or just emotionally, they haven't been feeling the best since someone has left their life one way or the other and they're wanting to reconcile but I'm getting like they're stressing over the way this is like if it's even possible but like with rainbow it's like who would even think a rainbow is possible you know it's, it's if you allow it's whatever you allow your mind to believe. But I mean, a rainbow is possible. It's, it's more than possible. It's a fact. It's, it happens. It's there. So. I'm really getting some of you guys. This could be 
a f like someone someone you consider a friend. But whatever the situation is, because both your outcomes are great, like happiness and well-being, which complements um, Cain. So it's like any stress that you're having, it's like it's being resolved here because you're realizing that it's great worry over nothing. Let's dive into this a little deeper. possible I can't make this stuff up and who's Gemini had both these cars and two separate placements and then Gemini is popping up so some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini here but whatever the situation is that you're dealing with they're wanting you to stop being pessimistic regarding it basically to be more optimistic regarding this situation because a new start is healing and it's also a new start is healing a new start is coming a time for healing so some of you guys haven't been feeling your best but whatever this new start is that's taking place it's going to have you feeling amazing like really happy with the way your life is going but with Gemini energy popping up here, communication is key regarding this situation in order for you to get the answers that you're looking for. Because the answers that you need are coming. Some of you guys may need to take action in order to get the answers that you need. And some of you guys, someone is taking action towards you. But communication is definitely key. Because I'm definitely seeing someone is regretful regarding a particular situation someone has a lot of regrets and someone is like trying to just move forward with their life but i'm i'm getting that like the situation is still on like the back of their mind like they're still pondering this situation between you and them this is regarding a romantic situation that started in the recent past so someone that you were in uh, possibly a Libra here or you guys could have these strong placements a new romantic cycle begins but this is popping up in your past energy so either in the past or recent past here there was a new love cycle that began between you and someone so either you started a relationship with someone or you wanted to start a relationship with someone but somewhere along the line things fell apart and with gemini energy popping up communication was the problem usually communication is always a problem Like nothing better in the world than you know, ice water with lemon in it other than hot water with lemon in it 
fresh lemon. I can't do that artificial lemon stuff. So the issue is that some people here are on different pages, incompatible desires or perspectives. Let's see, because either that is the case or that's how someone views the situation. Like the two of you are just too different to make the situation work. Okay, so the challenge is just friends. You are better off as friends. So that's the challenge. The root of this issue is that speak up time to be honest about the way you feel. And as you see, this person cover their mouth. So it's like, someone did not speak up that's the issue and that's why a situation stayed in the friend zone so i'm really getting the issue here is that how do you know whether you guys are too incompatible to be in a relationship when there's no communication so it looks like the challenge is someone trying to decide are we better off as just staying friends or if i speak up and express the way i feel about this connection will things actually work out between us This is odd. Clarify this for me. Whoever, I don't know if this is you or the person that you're dealing with, but whoever this is, they have been through a lot in the past. And I'm getting like, because I swear like this, it's almost like the same. So this must be like particular cancer here because I swear like this message keeps coming through for someone because... I'm getting someone who has people, like they have people spreading lies and rumors about them. 
saying that they're promiscuous, they get around. I'm getting that this is someone who's possibly abused in a previous relationship or they were abused as a child. They've been through some sort of abuse here. Like they were silenced. They have been silenced one way or the other. I mean, they have been through the ups and downs of life completely. And this person is just like, they don't want to go through it no more. They're viewing you as pretending. I wonder why do they view cancer as pretending to be what you like in the partner? Masquerading. So, do they think you're the one that's sleeping around? person is afraid cancer that you you only want them for sex and you're going to like try to like I'm really getting whoever you're dealing with is the one that's in this energy because the way they're viewing it's like they're, and this is why the past is causing blocks in the present, because whatever they went through in the past, I'm getting that they, they dealt with someone that kind of like closed them off from the, the rest of the world. They dealt with someone that um, basically shut off lines of communication from their loved ones. Yeah, because they're guarded. Closed heart. And I'm getting that this is someone who can come across as being self-centered. Or this is like the reputation that they've gained. But if you only knew. Like, because it's... I'm, I'm, I'm getting like someone that people have... Unless this is you. Because I'm getting someone that people say... Like, this person is dishonest. They're delusional. They're self-centered. I'm getting, these are the things that people say about someone here. This person is afraid of you. Maybe this is what's being said about you because this person is afraid of you like doing them the same way that a past person did them. Like they're, they're trying to figure out like what you would be like as a partner before they jump into a relationship because it's like the last time they were in a relationship, they were treated horribly. So that's why they're in this guarded energy and they're really just trying to embrace their singlehood and enjoy their single life. This is someone who's very independent. But you're, and I'm getting, cause like, yeah, you're viewing this person as either they're physically distant or they're acting emotionally distant. But you guys do have a lot of love for each other. Someone is like they wanted to take things really slow because they didn't want to ruin this connection in the past. But the thing is, it's like going towards the future is someone is spying on someone here. Let's see, what is this about? Two cards wants to come up. Uh, 
getting that even in the next several months because mine I I really I go based off of like six six to eight months here but I'm really seeing someone still in this energy of like in the process of trying to let go of this connection let go of this relationship let it die off but they're almost still like torturing themselves by like watching someone online or it's like, you know, checking on someone's Instagram page, their Facebook page. So it's like, can't really allow the relationship to die off because they're still wondering what if we were to overcome these obstacles? What if, you know, they were willing to forgive me? But then they're so un they're so much apprehensive, or they're so apprehensive. Someone is letting go of a twin flame connection. Why is this? This is almost like it's another energy that's wanting to come through here. sure I'm not getting this is like another energy coming through I'm gonna have to clarify if it's because someone is letting go of you are involved in a twin flame union so someone that they felt like was their divine counterpart their other half and the reason why they're letting this person go is because they discover some sort of truth regarding the situation. So they discover like an ex-partner that they weren't completely over a past relationship. They also, I'm not getting that they're having money problems, but like they are basically using them for money and there's some sort of toxic behavior whether it's actual like drinking or drugs here and they're realizing that they're wasting their time on this relationship so it's, it's a lot of reasons why they're letting this go so i don't know if this is your person the thing is i'm not getting i'm getting something i don't know Because whoever this is, they've been refusing to accept the reality of this situation. I'm not getting that this is this person. Because whoever this is, they're single. Yes. Someone is getting a divorce. 
this I swear you guys need to watch Gemini reading. Why do I feel like this energy from Gemini is coming through? You guys, someone could have strong Gemini placements. Why is this coming through? And divine timing keeps popping out. There is something that's taking place in divine timing. I'm definitely getting a relationship ending here because there's a lot going on. But it's so weird because I'm not gonna lie, Cancer. It's almost like you got kind of like This is weird. Okay. It's almost like you got booted out the reading. Let me see. Unless that does resonate with someone, but that was odd. Because that was almost like very specific with what happened in Gemini reading. But Gemini reading, that was the reading. Before I go into that, I want to see because that was so odd how that happened. So, okay. So someone wants to take action. Yes. The challenge is someone's trying to decide whether they should actually pursue a connection here. But they want to take action. They have a lot of stress. They're under a lot of stress. In the past, really getting in the past someone dealt with relationships that were very uncertain unclear unsure not knowing where they stood in connections is crazy because it's like the same situation playing out that happened in Gemini and that's insane because I'm shuffling through these cars I'm cleansing so someone could have strong Gemini placements or you're dealing with the Gemini here because I'm really getting they're viewing you as their soulmate But you're viewing this person as either having a family, someone that you want to establish a family with. You see family with this person one way or the other. We're going to get into that because whoever you're dealing with, they're letting go of someone that continues to play some sort of game in order to manifest a connection with you. 
because they want to be devoted to you. They only have eyes for you. And this is someone's karma that the person that they were treating like this is moving towards someone new or moving towards you because I'm really getting... Yeah, because the connection that they're currently in is falling apart. And you know, like I'm getting the person that you're dealing with, they really have a good heart. They just want to enjoy life, have a good time. They, they're they like, it, it doesn't have to be this complicated. And that's the place that they're at in their life. Okay. Oh, you know, I wanted to see. Yes, okay. Who this is confirmation here. Someone here is releasing, they're walking away from some sort of family dynamic. Someone that they were dealing with that they had a family with was creating a lot of confusion. Things were unclear, they were unsure, and they are just done with this connection. They're walking away from it. But they're seeing you as their soulmate. messages and wrap this up i swear i've been where we okay we're not that bad i i thought we were gonna be like close to an hour because i think y'all last reading was about an hour fucking sucks for someone here this I'm getting this is like three either two separate situations coming through in this read or it's someone dealing with two separate people with the three of pentacles someone could have met two people at work with pentacle energy I'm really, people are seeing you as being independent, successful, very elegant and attractive, not needing for anyone. It's like you have this calm and reassuring energy about you. You are viewing someone as like being in a situation that's only getting worse. Because someone's current state is like they're losing sleep. They're constantly in the state of like anxiety and fear of what's to come next. Like stressed out to the max. Someone doesn't want to fight for something anymore. And they felt this way for some time now because this is popping up in past energy. 
the thing is, is while they're in the process of grieving the loss of this connection, they didn't realize that true love was coming in for them because with the six of wands here and then you got the four of, oh my gosh, I can't make this up, cancer. Someone, I'm, I'm really getting someone turning someone's life around because someone is like they have really been trying their best to work out a situation with someone here only to be heartbroken to be disappointed and not to even expect true love to come in for them in the midst of their grief because there's a particular situation here that is, is not worth it. It's not going to pay off for someone here. And things are chaotic. Family is not getting along. Finances are being affected. <clears throat> Look at there. Because with the three of wands in reverse, this is someone that's not happy with the partnership that they chose. It's like someone is definitely in the process of grieving. And then their dream partner comes in and it's someone that they want to establish a foundation with. They see this person as their true love. They make a decision to sacrifice something. This is clarify the three of wands in reverse that this is not the right this is not the right partnership for someone here it's, it's very clear it's very evident or it's about to become very evident where someone cannot take it anymore and it's really just the universe pushing someone out of a situation because someone is going to stop working on a situation in order to get out of something because it's like they've been stuck or staying stuck in a situation that hasn't been working for them it's like they're finally seeing someone for who they truly are with the page of swords being in reverse it's like someone was lying about you know something that they did not being intentional but they can't lie about it anymore it's very clear that it was intentional, whatever they did. like three of them had came out because someone is holding on to a particular situation where they're they're not getting the love that they deserve they're not seeing something for what it is so they're staying stuck in the particular situation but with the devil in reverse they're about to get out of this energy. They're about to be pushed out of this energy I'm getting. And I'm getting this because of you. Like the universe used you to be the catalyst in this person's life to get them out of a unhealthy situation. 
because it's like as soon as you walked into this person's life you woke them up to what they really wanted in love and this person's yeah, cancer I can't make this up because this person is willing to do anything to be with you to make this relationship work with you because they see themselves being truly happy with you and the situation that they're currently in is not working out and they know that it's not going to pay off for them in the long run it's just going to keep them in this miserable state yes some of you guys could be dealing with a libra but this is the universe definitely stepping in to make a situation right someone hasn't been getting treated right but the universe see this person as someone who deserves to get the love of a lifetime, really, with the Ten of Cups popping up here. They want this person and you to be, yeah, so this person is being triggered to get out of their comfort zone to go towards something new. Now I'm getting this you. I'm really getting, you're walking into someone's life here. Someone who refused to really assess the situation that they were in and acknowledge it for what it really was in order for them to move forward in their life because it's like they were constantly being drugged into someone else's conflict or this this situation was just like all over the place it was so chaotic and it caused this person so much stress but they're wanting to now explore. It's like they're leaving this connection in the past and they're wanting to explore this connection with you. Two of Pentacles popping up. Yeah, they're they're weighing weighing out their decisions here, trying to figure out what is what situation they should prioritize. What situation should they invest their time in? Okay, I'm gonna pull some oracle messages and then we'll, we'll close the house. So you guys have the snow leopard, self-reliance. You are strongly independent, often solitary. I told that's the energy um that kept coming through. I couldn't tell if it was you guys or and I'm understanding this because someone else's energy was coming through in your reading. Um integrity is important for you for your best outcome. Float yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. So I'm really getting, regarding this, whatever you guys like, especially work-wise, Right now is the time for you guys to be in that silent, but I see everything type of energy where you know how you cancers can be where y'all are on silent mode, but you guys, you guys know everything that's going on. So really that's what you're being advised to do because intuitively, like you know what's going on or there's a particular situation they want you to be silent about. and just allow it to unfold. Some of you guys 
need to practice yoga. Yoga will benefit you at this time, but children, your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. You guys have the rainbow at the beginning of your read. So some of you guys, like your children, are like right now, they play such a significant... I mean, our children always play a significant role in our life, but... Some of you guys are teachers or you're about to meet someone that is a teacher or someone that loves children, someone that wants to have a lot of children. Because I'm really getting two separate people here, like someone who's like really good with children and more like an extrovert centric type of person both of you guys are centric, but then I'm seeing someone who's like an introvert, all about yoga, balancing their chakras and their healing journey and guiding people. This could be you guys as well. Like you just have two, there's two separate sides to you. Like they either get this side or that side. But once someone becomes close to you, then they get both. Daughter, new career. The answers to your question involves your daughter. So some of you with children and daughter popping up here. Yoga is also a form of meditation. And also, is it, it's also a sign of balancing things out as well internally before you approach a situation. But new career, your work focus is shifting in the positive, new, and successful direction. Some of you guys, like your daughter's opinion of like what you do it is real like you really value your daughter's opinion here. I mean, I value my son's opinion. I always ask him like if he's okay with me doing certain things. Like if he says he doesn't want me to do videos, then I'm not gonna do them. He's like, I just want to, you know, like I, I've, I'm not the type of parent where children are meant to be you know, seen and not heard. I'm like, no, I, I teach them to be vocal, but respectful. Okay. I feel like this, I, I'll have to try to get a bonus reading out for you guys because I feel like I definitely struggle with connecting with you guys' this reading tonight. And I would say it's because I'm, I'm, but I'm not really tired. I feel really great. Like I went to the gym after work and walked and so I feel really great, but I don't know. Who am I ready to forgive? I am... I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. C.G. Young. Is it time to let go, forgive, and move onward? Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. <clears throat> Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become? And how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action. Write a forgiveness letter. That is really good. Then practice the whole, you know, the whole aponapona. I don't know. So hopefully you guys can see it, but it's H O O P O N O P O N O. Prayer today. While thinking of the person you are ready to forgive, I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button. Some I'm going to say also, because message that's coming through, sometimes the people that were like, you may not even realize that you're upset with someone. It can be like on a subconscious level. Like we can be, because you guys also had like someone leaving your life. 
Like I could say, um, when me and my son, when we lost his grandfather, like even though I didn't even realize I was upset with him, like until I started like really healing and going to counseling about the situation, like, I realized that I was upset with him. So I'm getting like this is also like someone could relate to that like sometimes you're upset about or you're upset with someone and it's just it may seem ridiculous for you to be upset with them like to be upset with someone for passing you know or to be upset with someone it, it's just something that I'm getting someone may feel like it's almost like you disregard being upset with someone about it because it's kind of silly or it's something that you know you shouldn't be upset with someone about but it's okay like it's really you gotta acknowledge that it's not even you're necessarily upset it's just you're hurt and it's okay so i'm going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care